This video is all about Feeder Pigs 101. And I'll also be showing you how we made this incredible pig pen. Last year, we bought three feeder pigs. Feeder pigs are pigs that you buy when they're young and raise for meat. Feeder pigs are a great way to produce your own meat. You just buy pigs, fatten them up until fall, and then take them to the butcher. It's also really easy. When you first get feeder pigs, they're already done nursing and are eating cornmeal. After a while, they're ready to start eating scraps, and eventually you can let them out to pasture. But I know what you're thinking. Is raising feeder pigs worth it? I got one word for you. Bacon. I know, right? Pretty worth it. Best we've ever tasted. Last year, we did our very first three pigs, and we only used 16 foot long panels and tea posts tied on with wire for the time. The pigs have extremely strong snouts, and they eventually started getting out. So this year, we made a sturdier pen for our pigs. Meet our new pigs breakfast, brunch, bunky, lunch, and dinner. I'm just kidding. They're a fine crossbreed between Berkshire and Gloucestershire Large Black. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. Okay, to make this build, you will need a lot of wire, four 16-foot long pig panels, four 16-foot long sheets of metal, a good pair of snips, three large pallets, one large tarp, six bales of straw, a gate, and 12 T-posts. First, put the T-posts in every eight feet. The total diameter is 16 by 16, so we put one T-post in the middle of each hog panel and one on each side. We did that to all four sides so that there were two posts in each corner and our pen looked somewhat like this. Next, line the hog panels up along the T-post so that you have a total square. Now we need to cut a four foot piece of the hog panel out so that we can have a spot to place the gate. Warning, if you don't want your front yard to look like this, pig panels and T-posts won't cut it. The pigs will get out. We decided we wanted to put some metal sheets. That way the pigs can't see the other side of the fence or push their noses under. Next, we line up the sheet metal next to the pig panels on the inside of the pen. Put the panels on the inside so that the pigs cannot latch their noses onto the side of the pen and push it out. Next, we need to tie the sheet metal in. So we used a metal sheet screw to just make a hole, but you can use a metal drill pen. Then, slip a metal wire through the holes and tie it to the pig panels. This is one piece slipped through both holes. Then, use a side cutter or a plier to twist the metal tight. Now, we need to set up a nice little house so that they can sleep out of the rain or rough weather. We took two pallets of sides, and then we pounded in metal posts to secure them. We put metal posts on both sides of each pallet so that they don't twist around and the pigs can't move them around. Then we added one more pallet on the top as a roof. Slip it inside the post so it is secure it and then tie it in with wire. Once the roof is done, we used a tarp and we stapled it in using a staple gun. We made sure that we got it in really, really well so that we didn't have to redo it later on. Now it's time for the straw. We're gonna take two bales and we're gonna coat the ground of the pig pen with the bales. Hi, Hestia. Still working on putting the ground. Make sure you have a nice thick layer on the ground so that they can play in it and roll in it and have fun. Hi, Merida. Alrighty, looking good. So we have two bales here in the house so that they have a bit of wind block. We've got their little house and we've got straw on the ground. And we have two bins, one for water and one for food. I think it's pretty good. I think they'll like it. Alrighty, piggy day. We just got our pigs. The best way to take a pig into your pen is to grab their back legs and kind of guide them. 
because pigs are really strong, they'll try to pull away from you. And you can't carry them because they're really heavy. So, that's the best way you can do it. Aren't they cute? So here's a quick update on our pig pen. It's been about a month since we put these little guys in here, and we can already see that they've rearranged quite a bit. There are a little house in the corner that we made out of pallets. They haven't taken it down yet, and I do see them sleeping in it a lot, so that's definitely working. Adding these metal sheets to the pig panels was definitely a good thing, because last year we didn't add the metal sheets, and our our pigs kept pushing up the panels and getting out. So the metal is definitely helping keeping them in. The straw, however, they do like to play in it, but after a while you can see that they've torn it up and it's not really the greatest for them to sleep in anymore. So we're gonna add some new hay today, straw, and see if that helps. The really nice thing about adding this layer of straw on top of the old straw and the hog manure is that it becomes compost and that's really healthy for the ground and for the hogs. In the next video we make about these little guys, we're going to be training them to stay away from an electric wire so that we can let them out into pasture. Hi, we're the Vineyard Chicks. And we'd like to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Go ahead, click it now. We'd love to hear your questions and comments, so leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our next video. Thank you.